Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome here to Vanilla TV as we have an awesome night of TF2 in store for you which has already started. Uh, we're a little bit late, we've been delayed, we had some issues, technical issues, everything like that. So I'm going to keep everything I can pretty much to, uh, to to the short point of just saying hi, good evening and very much welcome. My name is Pledge, with me today is going to be Scully, dude, how are you doing? I'm doing great, I just tried to keep catch an eye on that first mid but it was just so hectic that... Uh, Crackland got wiped straight away. Apart from that, I'm doing great. It's the finals, nice. people. EHS finals. Esports He's, heavens. Yeah. Mad Cats GF2 challenge. Nox drops with the body shot. <laughs> <laughs> well okay, done, TF2. That's a good start, and uh, we know what Epsilon's going to do, don't we, Scully? It's just um, we've we've been looking at this a couple of times already, um, and Epsilon really dislikes um, just leaving stuff kind of in the hands of fate. Um, we've been watching demos earlier today, and uh, we actually already see the body shot. Oh my god, Crackline is fake nicking, this annoys me. It's um, alright, right. we know who they are. We know that Don't we Stop Believing is going to be okay, Sam, fine. and El Tigre is going to be Red Shot. And already, is there a scout that's gone behind? No, there isn't. No, El Tigre. Sorry, I just called him El Tigre when it's Red Shot. Red Shot had done just a nice little double kill there. Has moved on very well. I'm just trying to keep myself composed. We are, you know, just get myself back in. They have got a lot of people at the moment. They, they've really pushed forward, actually, to the point that they almost want to push on to to block the spawner. There's only a scout onto mid right now. Nice little, nice little comeback there. That's the whole power. And there's also a sniper as well. Walters is sniping, but he does get taken out straight away. The advantage, there is no advantage at the moment, but Crackland do have them on the back foot right now. They have taken mid. Really nice pushback then when they, for one second, were defending last. Ubers are pretty much equal though at this moment in time. Actually, they're spot on equal. Have, there's not a single little bit exchanging between those teams. But it looks like Crackland's going to decide, let's go in there. I don't like that decision at all. Red Shock and Mini Moose get caught off guard with their pants down, immediately get shot down by the players from Epsilon. And even though uh, Ips is actually now dropping to the floor because Mike shot him down, we can see Uber's definitely now in favor of Epsilon. Admirable is going to have that Uber in time, but the players are not going to spawn in time. They're going to be out of position. Uber does get forced though by Tafik who came in from the backhand side and that might give Crackland an opening to work with here. I do not think that Crackland is going to have the angle let alone the time to actually walk in and they're not going to do that. And uh, they're probably going to wait for Tafik to spawn maybe a little bit beforehand and it looks like now they're making their way through big door. Apple's ready to rock and roll. Red Shock jumps in and we can see the scouts follow up, soldier follow up, everything comes in. And it looks like Crackland is going to be able to hold this Uber while they grab the middle point. Are oh, they going to hold this for free? The soldiers actually jump down. Are they just trying to get positions right now before they do anything? That's what they want to get. They want to make sure they're in. They've got everybody there because they do have everybody. The scout is now capping. I believe that is Sam with the uh, the nice uh, story or journey references, and that's what it is. They are going to catch the middle of that. Now, what are they going to do here with the second point right now? They haven't Ubered yet. Nox has gone down. Walter has gone down. It's not Nox. I apologize. Nox has got Uber. It's Walter's and Shock. They have actually managed to cap this point without using their Uber. And while that is happening, Epsilon do have their Uber locked and loaded, and they're getting ready for this. This is going to be a new versus Uber mid. Here they go straight away. The Devil Man hits coming straight away. Nox has made a late pop there, which is fantastic. And if Marvel pulls out, he's trying to pull out, but he's lost Red Shot. Numlock does go down, though, from Red Shot. That's great play there. Devil Man for Devil Man. Here comes the cat. Here comes the repush in. They've already lost TV, though. That's quite bad for them. Need a kill right now. They're going to get killed. They do get Mike. Mike's gone down, and Sam's gone down. Epsilon have got this only by the better of one person, and, Ep and Crackland are going to pull out of this. Crackland slowly getting out of here, just very, very safely, methodically. The play from Red Shark there was fantastic. Single target Uber from Crackland. It was not enough, though. The follow-up from Crackland was not well executed. They did lose a couple of players more than Epsilon did. And Epsilon's going to try and push out here. Red Shark very aggressive. Looks like Crackland is going to follow up with that. But there's a lot of red players, Scully. I'm not sure if they can make it. There's a sea of red right now that they could hinder this, but they're not going to be able to stop this yet. They've, they've got to pull out now because they've already lost it. Look at Numlock on right far behind. That actually helps. That actually stops Retro getting anywhere. Down man for down man as Numlock does go down. And the momentum right now is in Epsilon's favor. Here they're going to take the middle point right now. Look at where the players are going to be. They're going to be all holding up on the high ground. They're going to be making sure nobody can get through right there. Spamming the big door. Look at that. Time seven on the point. <laughs> but everybody... From Crackline gets up and Mr. Tweak, you have your sniper rifle ready. Hit it. Apparently Nox is uh, complaining about the server for now. Tweak did get the shot in on Nox. Oh, headshot! Dropping no to the floor and we get the, the note scope coming out there on Numlock. 
Great play. Beak again, just doing that a couple of times. We saw it earlier. It is going to happen today as well. One of the strengths from Cracklin is that they have to beak on that off class. Um, server, um, not server, that's what Nox actually just yeah, said. Spy, sniper, anything like that. He is more impressive at those classes than a scout, but it's one of the strengths of Cracklin. And we can see how it's going to work out here in this map, as Epsilon's going to have to struggle with that. I love how they just are the Anubis come straight in anyway. They've gone with the Uber already. They've lost two plays. It's two, two versus one. They're going to be putting the scouts on. Nice little stack there up to scouts. They're going to be keep pushing him. They've, they've run out of Uber. Now they want to try and get knocked. Here they go. Try to go to Nox. Do not get knocked. They get Numlock though. That's that's not a bad trade. They get Numlock. I think they'll be happy with that right now. They haven't even touched second yet. They're happy to just pull out right now. If Retrock just does, just Retrock just play it casually. Retrock's over and extended right there. That's what happens when you overextend people. Yup, and uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a mental state here. Nox is not gonna be feeling good about that. He was complaining in chat. You guys cannot see that in, in, in stream, but Nox has a little bit of a habit of doing that, of complaining a little bit, being very vocal about that. It might affect Crack the Epsilon's play here, and Crackland might be able to use that to their advantage. Let's see what Twig's gonna spawn at. Him, him spawning Scout is actually a big thing here, as uh, as he does, and Crackland actually being stuck inside that sort of lobby area here, as Epsilon making their way through to middle now, and it looks like yet, yeah, like they, they exchange Ubers here, but there's loads of Crackland players stuck in that lobby area. Now it looks like they're going to try and come out, and Red Shark has loads of Uber now getting assassinated though by the Reds from Epsilon. It looks like they're going to pick up the second point, no problem whatsoever. Yeah, they really got good. They got a bad read on that Crackland, and basically everyone at Epsilon managed to just pull up, just wait for it at the right moment. Sam has gone heavy now to defend this last point. They really want to defend this last point. Do Epsilon want to go with this with no Uber? They, they got him now, and then they've lost Tibic and Ips. They've got to look at this with no Uber. They've got to go for a push, surely. But the numbers are low. Scouts on the point, they'll come from underneath, and that's going to put the Heavy straight onto the ground. Heavy gets found. Everyone has to jump onto the point. Epsilon win that just from sure death matching skill, really. Eps Epsilon does this quite a bit. I'm not quite sure if it is that matching skill or if it's something else, but they do this quite a bit. They hate 100% versus 100% Uber exchanges. They'd rather go when both teams don't have Uber or when they can get an advantage. They hate waiting for that 100%, so we're going to see that quite often. Pay attention to that. Second middle now coming up. Here we go, both soldiers jumped up, both soldiers facing each other, nice little ball ballet there right at the moment. Now soldier comes right behind, Gage comes behind, is he going to take that out right away? No, he does not. Crackland are in a bad position right now, they've lost numbers, but it's three versus four at the moment. If they can get one kill, maybe they can do so. Mini Moose is low and they're going to have to pull out of this. And Epsilon do pull that up with some great aggression there from Gear, really set that up. Nox is down though, keep that in mind, Nox is down, Admirable still up. Has that Uber almost ready to go? Nomlock does get taken down here by Red Shark. Not trying to hold whoa, that as whoa. much as possible. Du yet. Seriously? Double back up. It's going to be too quickly. Yep. It uh, doesn't look like it's going to be able to get blocked. No, not whatsoever. And it looks like Red Shark and Admirable are going to have to try and make their way through. It does seem to manage that they got out. As uh, Admirable still holding on to that Uber. Actually quite impressive. Tweak picking up that sniper rifle once again. As that's just what they do. Walter's picking up the sniper rifle again. It's going to be a little bit, little bit of a duel here. As Crack now makes their way to the middle. Admirable does get that Uber pop off. Lovelock goes down. And Crack Clan in a prime position here to get loads of damage done. And maybe pick up this round. They really need to use this right now. They're not getting the numbers though. They just held on to Rex shots. Just as something Admirable likes doing. Holding on to one person. Try to use Rexshock as bully tactics here. Mike's on 7 HP, finally gets taken down. Knox 97, here's the key thing. 97, now 100, he's only got gear. Are they going to try and block this? No, they're going to play it safe, they're going to go back. Nice play there at the moment, they're going to hold this right now. It's going to be Epsilon defending once again. And they're really holding forward in that last point. And maybe, are they looking forward to go forward? No, they can't right now, because Crackland's already in. So they're going to be holding on the lobby right now. This will probably be a lobby hold. I'm guessing it's going to be a lobby hold. No, no, Wait no, no, for no, you, no. but... It, it, it's really like, right now you can see Epsilon, well not right now, but what they did about a second ago was that they actually held really close, they wanted to deny Tweak the entrance to that lobby, the freedom that he wants to as a sniper. I think he's gonna make, yeah he's making his way over Riverside right now, jumps in, he's gonna try and go for the shot on Nox, he does get deflected there though, and it looks like both teams Walter's now spy. do have that Uber ready to rock and roll, Walter's Walter is spy, ah. right next to them, he actually managed to avoid, he's not gonna like decloak right next, surely not. Oh, oh no way! No way! Yeah, no way! Yeah. He gets uh, he gets red shock and he's afraid. Pity may force to pop. How do you not see that? And there's a ball. Best pause ever. Oh. <laughs> Can I just say? How did you not hear the decloak? 
That is the bit. No, well, I think they heard it because I saw Rich are kind of moving around, but he didn't see him. So it was kind of, um, yeah, I guess they just didn't see it, but oh my god, this is the best pause ever. <laughs> this Man. Is, what hell of a screenshot if you can make it like this. What? We always say a picture's worth a thousand words, and we, pro and we, we always stare at these photos thinking out what's going to happen, because as we know, it's a 90 second delay, for all those who probably don't know any refreshing, 90 second delay, that's what we're watching at the moment. So the pause isn't the pause we see in game. The pause is so we yeah. can catch up with them when they're ready. So this means our game needs to be slowed, which means a pause. So we're not seeing anything. We're not seeing their pause. We're seeing a snapshot of a game, and I love this. To be fair, if you go to above the point, above the last point, and you look towards where Crackline is, this is how Epsilon pushes. And this is how every single team in the history of the world should push. From last to second. That's it. One soldier covering that right hand side, one soldier going top right, one demo man with medic going left hand side with the Uber. Everything is perfect. That is just poetry in motion. That is. Yeah. Wow, here they go. No, wait, no, that's, that's quick. To let that's people quick. In. That's good. Uh, means we only have like a 30 second or so HUD broken. Um, yes. Uh, for, I guess for, that's those, fine. Know, for those unaware, we will know that people will be asking to redo the HUD. Um, HUD at the moment is a known bug, it will be frozen, so the, the, the player's health and Uber charges and who's alive, that's frozen until we catch up. Here we go, we're back in now, we've got no HUD at the moment, we do know that Nox is going to have full Uber advantage. And here they go, look at Numlock walking as far as far the rest of the camera, he's been disconnected, surely they can get, no, the Uber's been forced just to get Numlock alive. And that's all they're going to use the Uber for at the moment. It's going to be four versus five at the moment. And they are going to be trying to push out. They're going to push them out. t is he's going to be looking. He wants to pop. Can't get anything. And I'm loving the positions right now by Epsilon. As they want, as they're protecting that big door. Yeah, we can see Epsilon just pretty much did that perfectly. They did manage to save that Uber. Do they know how much percentage of what it did he save his Uber or not? Because that might have just been my heart being force, messed up. A marble force um, that Nox used it. Yeah, there you go. So, sorry, I messed that up. I just looked at my HUD and assumed uh, it's not the case, and the HUD will reset here in just a second. As uh, we can see, about 70-ish percent here on Mox. Admirable, a little bit of an advantage. As uh, it looks like Crackland on the dot, they're going to push here. Are they going to be able to catch Epsilon off guard? No! Look, they're going straight for the middle. Wow, what's this? As uh, everyone from Epsilon abandoning the second point like mad. And now, how's this tactic going to work out? There's a demo and medic sitting on that second point, now fighting against Numlock, who's jumping in, soldier coming in from the side, and Epsilon just, seriously, they're just able to scrabble up Crackland players from the floor right now, because they're in bits and pieces all across Gullywash. Man, that was a messy, messy, me that was a messy push in itself, really. The idea of pushing forward was a great idea, um, but it just didn't work forward. And, you know, to do a counter push really worked. But in that situation, when your players are out of position, yes, you've got to keep people back to hold, it just did not work for them. As the HUD for me is fixed, so I believe the HUD that means will be fixed for, uh, for the stream others. We're now going to see, it's going to be a small advantage for Nox, but they have got a lot of people forward. It depends what Admirable and Crackline want to do. They like holding far forward. They think they've got a bit of an advantage, but they have a disadvantage, and they do not have anybody building, which is not going to help them, because we know Epsilon, We'll have this dedicated builder. Look at the building right now from Mike and Gear. There we go with the building. They're just going to keep going. Look, they've already got 100% and Admirable's not even there. 80 minutes, Chris! Did not see it, it was Chris. I wonder why it was fast. And they take down, they, they take down a soldier and a scout. They lose Numlock. That's, that's okay, though. They, they make the force and Admirable. But the numbers aren't there. Look at Epsilon. They're going to be pull, pulling back out. Nice little pullback there right now. Four versus four at the moment. What are they going to be doing right now? They lose Gear. They're going to just hold on right now. The, the Uber has now stopped. Will they go back and push forward? Look at Red Shark, look at Red Shark, yeah, look at me! Have they noticed him? Have they noticed him? Yes, they've noticed him, and is that my guy? Wow! <laughs> oh, I just noticed Nox got an arrow onto Red Shark. This is brilliant, I'm looking at the flank as well, but it, it's that action on both sides at the moment, really liking this. And here comes Epsilon. No, oh, Soul's just gonna assassinate Nox here, if, seriously, if he does not no. get that kill. You're joking. Oh, it. Wow, great defense there. Now he finally goes down, but some really nice play there from Nox. From Numlock, and this is what we were saying about Epsilon don't really have a true dedicated pocket. All three heavy classes, both soldiers and Numlock, can play that pocket role. 
It's just decides that they just one of them decides to go aggressive at one stage. Numrock played a great pocket demo roll right there, which is something really rare. Yeah, it's Epsilon plays this. Um, I, th I think it really relies on just their communication and being able to get that out properly. Like, their calls will be. I'm not going to say hectic, but they're full of like, hey, now you go aggressive, now you go aggressive. Oh, wow. And uh, we can actually see a great shot there from Tahit coming out, picking off Mike. And Jesus, that guy wow. is just insane. As uh, Crack Clan is going to pick up on that, get get to, and immediately that six versus four scenario. No Uber on Nox whatsoever as well as Crack Clan now going to make their way here through Cho. Tahit does get shot down by Sharky, who's uh, probably, <laughs> Tahit went a little bit aggressive once again. And as I assume he did, yes, he did dial that big door area, and it looks like Epsilon getting fully locked in there. There's no way that Crackland is going to let them go out. There's one soldier now getting a little bit of spam down. There's no way that Epsilon should be able to get this, and that's not going to happen. Crackland playing this out methodically gets the point, get a three for one, four for one exchange, and Nox now sitting there with that Uber, but just with one soldier and 10 seconds on the spawning clock. This should be Crackland's round. Maybe Crackland's right. Here we go. The Uber's been popped off. They've had to use the Uber. And then just, are they going to try and bully that soldier? Surely that must be the soldier being bullied. But at the moment, it is just not. Now comes the respawners. That's going to help them out big time. And all Admirable's got is a demo man and a, and a scout. And wow. Did Retro just get a double pipe? He did. And Retro again with Sticky. Gives the last man alive. He's not going to help at all. Crackland tied us up. 1 1. Retro going huge. Yeah, it was a great play from Red Shock there. Really working that out properly, getting himself to safety, then playing onwards, getting the damage done exactly like Devil Man are supposed to do. And now coming up in this third middle, this is make or break coming out for a crack clan. If they can get this done properly, I'm sure they have a good shot at winning this game. But Epsilon always better the second half of the game. If they win this, if they get the score down, Epsilon is definitely going to have an easier time the second half of the game. Two weeks on Sniper, and they know that immediately. That's why they're hiding behind the point, not deliberately to cap it fast. I don't think it's in a point cap so fast in my life, but that doesn't matter. Mini Moose and Shocky go down. In fact, that's probably like the quietest middle I've ever seen because of the Sniper. The Sniper was used to get a pick, and the Sniper actually allowed them to cap, which is a weird scenario right now. But here comes this choke area that I was talking about earlier. Focus with Tivik there on the choke with the Sniper Rifle, and a Scout and probably a Soldier. Right now it's a demo man combo, as I call it, demo man and medic. But it's gonna be Tivik and Sam holding that holding that flank area with the sniper rifle. Is now the Uber had to be forced off there by Admirable to save his player. Now comes the other Uber in for Epsilon. Epsilon sharing, Crack Clan only share at the end there. Red Shock does take down Mike. That's a key pick. They just need to get another no kill. Pressure on get it, but there's no, 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 no pressure on Numlock. No pressure on Numlock. No Here pressure he goes. on Numlock. And look at it. Look at that. And the <sighs> Walter just comes in and gig him. In. Wow, they, no one picked that up whatsoever. Great call there, Pledge. I didn't see that. I no, knew they were coming in, but... Ah, uh, dude, like, that's the that's the sort of standard style of playing, is what you want to do is you want to distract as much as possible and let your downman come in late, kind of what you do at the very end of rounds. Like right now, how you have Nomlock sitting at the very back of the point, covering the point, everything like that. Around that choke area, everyone was looking at Mike and Shockey. They came around that choke area, loads of pressure, and when they were almost down... Numlock showed up, no pressure at him whatsoever, got seven stickies immediately in Crackland's range. They died one after the other and the scout came to clean up. That was perfect work from Epsilon. Beautiful, just beautiful teamwork, beautiful communication. This is the mid that Crackland need to win right now and they've been spammed out again. What is going on? Because we know Crackland's on a very aggressive team on mid. And yet they're being out aggressive because of the soldier double jumping onto the point. And they need to go for three right now. Can they get, can they get knocked? No, he does not. Minimus went to get Nox, and I think Ips as well went somewhere. They could not get the medic pick, and that's not going to help them at all. They do lose Numlock. And in fact, because of the, the trade on the on the choke, they are able to hold this point and stop Epsilon pushing in. Yeah, to be honest, Red Shark on his own should be able to hold this point, as uh, Epsilon is going to try and get some sort of flank up. It looks like Crackline is falling for it, actually, here, Scully. Epsilon's not actually doing anything, but Crackline is like, let's fall back here a little bit. They can sit at choke. They could have blocked that out if they would have sat at choke. But now look at that position that Epsilon has. Lumlock's not there yet. They're going to have to drop out, but the Uber Force is perfect. The Uber Exchange is perfect. And Epsilon is not going to mind this. As I said, 
as I said earlier, Epsilon loves this no that. Uber, no Uber exchanges. Look They're gonna this. walk the big door, and Epsilon does this. They do this all the time. They catch people off guard, and there you go, six versus four. They're gonna love this. That is beautiful. That is textbook. That is something Epsilon just love doing what you say. They love just switching the gear. Just love just pulling that off. They love being the aggressor and just don't stop going. They love putting that foot on the pedal and just going 100 miles an hour. And that is just... I'm really amazed at that because that is just beautiful play. We knew it was going to be hard for Crack Club. And the last two rounds have been a schooling. And once again, your your analysis from I thought from pre-I-46 that Epsilon... It was a while ago, Epsilon, yeah. yeah. Old Epsilon used to do the second half of the game. They went, they kick it into another gear. I get it. No, they just top. figure it out, dude. They figure it out. They know what they have to do to win. And they, like right now, these past two middles have been a schooling. Red Shock got down early, and they didn't manage to do it now. But it looks like Red Shock seems to be alive. 40 HP, 80 HP, barely staying alive there. But everyone from Epsilon kicking it into another gear. Frag after frag after frag. A Marvel maneuver. Can he hold it? Uh, oh my God! Every Epsilon is so good. Kill was by Walters or Shocky in that mid. All six? Every Seriously? six kills. Shocky, Shocky, Walters, Walters. Jeez, you're right. No, I just no, looked no. at console. Yeah. Wow. Six that kills by Scout. That is absolutely wow. crazy. <laughs> you're correct. Um, so we that can just, see that just proves it. Though. That just proves the strength yeah. of the Scouts. You know, we, knew, we know the Scouts of Crack Clan are a strong force. And to counter that, you need a good scout pair. Walters and Shocky, I wouldn't have it any other way. They're an amazing yeah. pair at the moment. Look at this, the Uber comes in and the Pyro TV. Tweak has used the Pyro there to stop the Uber. It's not going to help at all. They have managed to use that Uber up, but now they've got it. To, they've got Ips. They've got, that is Sam. Yep, that's Sam C in the Ips. They're in a good position right now. They, they just got to hold back and they are wanting to push forward a little bit. A little bit question of pushing forward right now, but and they do get Mike. Where Ips doesn't get the picks, Mike does. And to be honest, that's 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 really one of the key things. We saw Ips coming in for Nox a couple of times. We really did. And he got huge opportunities to take him down, but Nox survived. And now this, Mike gets one opportunity. Admiral's dead. He immediately drops to the floor. There's nothing Crackman can do. He just catches them off guard. This is this is a situation where three one down early in the game. You could probably afford to stay back. But with ten minutes to go, they needed to try and look at going for a push. And they've lost players because of that push. But, and surely they need to just regroup right now. Look, here they go. They go for another. Here they go with another push. They got a soldier on last. Yeah, they got a soldier on last. They're all good with that. Where is Epsilon at the moment? Well, Epsilon have actually got Walters going sniper, so they're holding back. No more just spawned. So. And here comes Walters. What's Walters gonna do? First shot gets nothing. Is he gonna get anything else? No, he's gonna pull back. So they're gonna let Crack Clan take that second point because they're really in contention right now because they want him. And gear going heavy. Now that's interesting. This is something they picked up from the Americans, surely. Going a heavy on this map. <laughs> heavy sniper. Heavy sniper seems to be a thing. Um, we, we see it from time to time. As uh, we can see. Ah, I don't know how this heavy is going to work out though. It looks like Gear is going to get that buff. Looks around here now. Is this maybe going to be able to do something here at this choke? It looks like he's going to be the one just defending. Holding that choke area. Now following that medic around. And look. You can see, if that Heavy gets the arc here right now, Gear has to be the surprise effect. The 450 HP. Hello, Hello ladies and gentlemen. Mike goes down, though, but Gear might be able to get some damage in, though. Sniper not really able oh, to do a lot here. Oh, the with a mini... Well, I believe that was a bit of an air shot. I don't know if Ips has gone as far. And, uh, he's going to probably hate me for that, but they, on the flank, <laughs> Numlock does play some great play. He does do what he can at the moment. They basically... Not the hero he goes again! He goes again to cause harassment. Here's the problem. Crack Clan are so focused on one area right now that when a flank them and the flank comes around, and it's exactly like me and Pledge did insight on the granary from on the granary map from the final lot from last week, you get to L final. And the flanks just get demolished by Crack Clan. Not, you know, Epsilon demolished Crack Clan's flanks. Yep. And they just get completely killed from it. And this is almost the same situation again. The flanks are just being left alone. Look at that, we can see Crackland trying to make their way in. I mean, they recognize there's a clock there. Just ticking second by second, making their chance of victory smaller Uber. and smaller. As now we can see the Uber gets popped off, but is there going to be counter Uber? Yes, there is. And Red Shock and Admiral go very deep in. I'm not 100% sure if that was correct, but it looks like they move back to the choke. Caught Epsilon off guard. Loads of people now dying, but Nox still alive. 
We're ready to heal that up, as we can now see. Admirable, the rest of his team making their way through Big Door again, closing Epsilon off. And this is exactly how they won the second round, Scully, if you can remember. Ten minutes ago, they won that second round by closing that off and pushing straight through. It looks like right now they're going to wait. They're going to build that Uber. And now there comes a little bit of a change in style. We can see Epsilon usually pushing in a couple of players to force that Uber. I think Crack Clan is just going to push all six in. Or at least a couple in and try and force that. Look at that. Epsil so aggressive onto wow. that Riverside. Uh, just spamming them out. Getting a lot of damage done. Maybe get a frag or two. But Crack Clan definitely prepared for that. Uber's ready. Epsilon's Uber's ready as well. And now we're going to see how is Crack Clan going to play this out with a Tafik who's on 24 HP. He needs to get a buff first. They need a buff first. Scout is just trying to harass right now. Oh, I'm just waiting to see. There's a scout behind. And look, look how many people went back for that. But they're happy to go back on that. And are they just getting ready? There is a here's a scout just being a decoy. Oh, lovely decoy right now. The TV just goes in the social come straight. Uber's still not been popped and they've got half the time on the point. That was definitely used for forcing and it did not work for them. So now they're gonna have to pull back out because the force is there. Is that a scout going behind? He is picked up though, thank god. Red shot goes down, which is not what they want. They're losing people and look, the Uber has to be forced right now. And this is basically what they did not want. They did not want to use the Uber before they did. Is that Minimus trying to do a bit of aggression in it? Yeah, Minimus trying to do a bit of blocking, not helping, and Mirabal just gets hunted down from Numlock. Really great play from Numlock. That's not what Crack Clown wanted at all. No, Crack Clown playing that out. And uh, I'm going to bet you something right now, Scully, as we can see Epsilon making their way through. Admirable's going crit, so I can tell you that right now, I am going to put my money on it. And Admirable, please don't let me down. Medigun, god damn it. <laughs> Thanks, Admirable, for letting me down. As. Uh, <laughs> In the previous 20 scenarios, Scully, we always saw him going crits, and apparently he's not feeling it right now. As uh, they're going to keep playing just regular Medigun, they are going to be behind an Uber. And obviously with 5 minutes left on the clock, 2 points down, it's going to be difficult to work through. Epsilon does have that Uber almost ready to rock and roll. Admirable sitting there at the moment, just only 25-ish percent down, but it looks like Epsilon's going to rotate first. Gives Admirable a little bit of way, but it looks like Tafik is going to be the player to watch. Tafik, 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 where are you? He is in spawn. He is in spawn. This is ah. beautiful. I, I, don't, I think he's just waiting. I'm loving what they do, but the problem is they know the door's open. So that's a big issue for oh the Oh my no! god! <laughs> there you, you go! You gotta be kidding that's me! That's what you need, and the Uber comes off on the other side, and Marvel's gonna, they're gonna use that to hold the point right now. They're gonna capture the second, this middle point for sure. Nothing's gonna stop that second point being capped. Once again, it's TV being the man, to, being the man of the moment. Basically, you wanna, you want an Uber drop, just call TV and he's gonna do it for you. That's brilliant. That is just... Oh, it's not even textbook. There is no textbook for what Civic does. It's just amazing. They're going to capture the sec. They're going to capture the second point for sure. Well, one of, should... the th one of the things that you can note, though, Scully, is that Epsilon is going to be able to fight this because Mike got actually got the force on Admirable. You missed that in your play-by-play, -play, but that's fine. I caught it, as we can saw Mike getting that force on Admirable, and that means that right now Epsilon does have a shot at him. No! Nox gets the second <laughs> arrow kill, and this one is on Admirable, and a scout versus scout fight. Double scout versus one scout. Here we go as the Crackland scouts. No, there's a timer, guys. You need to run to last. There's, there's a soldier fighting a scout. Two, two soldiers are spawning now coming in are they going to be able to save the save the day gear might get a couple of picks in, but there's still two scouts around and scully i don't think it's going to be enough as crack clan's going to lose Not players enough. now walters takes down red shock as well and that is pretty much going to be it for crack clan at the moment there's still time left but it's going to be difficult it's going to be a huge push and this is where this is where chris creek could be used and they're actually complacent just to give up that point which i'm really confused about because they need this point right now here they go with the port. No, it's too late. They throw one guy on and it's just, it's just a wasted kill. They throw another guy on. Sam goes on. It's a wasted kill. They don't have the people right now. Tivik's gone spy this time. I don't know what he's going to be able to do with that, but it, he's going to try and do something. Retro, he's back behind. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on Tivik. No. Uh, I want to keep an eye on Tivik because he's got full eyes on Nox right now. Surely he's got a chance at Nox. They've not even noticed him. Surely they've got a chance. He's trying to find... Oh no, he gets himself <laughs> away with a face star. That oh, knocks, knocks already at the Uber saw out. They knew he was there. That's, that's oh. okay. But no, that was that was all Red Shark. Like, if Red Shark was able to hold that choke against the double soldier scout medic rushing through, they would have been able to be fine. But Red Shark ended up dying. Both soldiers ended up going balls deep, killing people left and right. And Red Shark ended up falling down. And that's pretty much going to be it for Crack Clan. It's going to be very difficult now. As the push comes in, the players get knocked down. And the blues are dropping one after the other. And it looks like even though Numlock goes down, 
This is probably not going to be enough, and Epsilon's going to put the 4-1 on the board, and that's going to seal the deal, put the nail in the coffin, put the icing on the cake, whatever the hell you want, but that's just going to be it. That is just... I mean, it's it's just t typical Epsilon, isn't it? Let's see. There was two caps. One, one at half time. Yeah, there was there was one one with fourteen fifty to go. Yeah. It's four one now. Like, no team does it better. I don't know what it is. Like, we we you sat there and you, we discussed this before. What is it? That is, I don't know. It, they figured it. They figure it out. I guess. Like it's... they do it at I forty six. They do it. They 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 do it in in, in these events. Even when they're winning this season, <laughs> they've just found the extra gear. <laughs> It's a gear that no other team has. Like, they are a team that is so... Well, they're just so cohesive and such a great team unit. There's such a gr calm atmosphere. I'm, well, I'm just guessing there's a calm atmosphere. Guessing. Guessing, guessing yes. I don't think any TF2 team's got a calm atmosphere. But uh, but they, they just know what they're doing. They are the super team of Europe. Yeah, and by the way, guys, it's everything is kind of finishing up. We can see a load of that match skills. Both teams know it's over. Both teams are actually chatting at the moment as well. And just kind of finishing the game up. Uh, Ford at 1 is going to be the official. I think so. I think officially there's going to be a 4 1 on the board. Maybe 4 2, but I guess not. But at least. Um, at least it's it's, it's going to be a 4-1 on the board, so we'll see. As uh, the second map is Granary, it's actually going to come up in a second. And Granary is something we saw last week, last week uh, ladies and gentlemen, ETF 2 all Grand Finals. Um, between these two teams as well, and now the, the Esports Heaven, Matt Cat's team for this two challenge, also in the Grand Finals. So these teams definitely the best at the moment, BFF, somewhere close to them, but it's definitely those three that are kind of swinging the deal at the moment. Then we see Crack Clan time and time again just not managing to pull it off against Epsilon. Epsilon definitely the powerhouses, the really good proper team in Europe, and the rest of them kind of training behind as Epsilon now wins the first map, but Esports Heaven, Matt Cat's team for just two challenge. Challenge with four to one um, here on CP Gollywash. As so we're going to move on to Granary, um, well, yeah, this is pretty much it for Vanilla TV. As uh, the second map is going to come up, it's going to be difficult for Cracklam, that to say the least. But we'll go into that here in just a second. Please stay tuned. Going to go for a little bit of an outbreak and everything like that. But after that, we'll be right back here, Vanilla TV, with Team Fortress Two action. <laughs> 